December 3rd, Parker and Doug Stupel will be leaving the Ross Ice Shelf, traveling over 400 miles to reach the South Pole. During that trip, they'll be collecting important scientific data to help with research on climate change, but they'll also be attempting to set a speed record going from the ice shelf to the South Pole faster than anyone's ever done it before. The distance is around 400 miles, or 640 kilometers, which means that we'll have to trek around 30 kilometers a day, pulling a sled of an average of 180 to 200 pounds in weight. And at the same time, if I succeed in this expedition, um, I'll become the youngest man to walk to the South Pole. It's not just about walking on ice. It's about a sense of ambition and demonstrating that no matter how challenging something is, there's always a creative way to approach it. It's vitally important that during their rest stops, they can have easy access and safe access to uh, food during the trip. And um, Amcor's had the opportunity to develop, develop packaging that's going to work well in that very harsh environment, make it easier for Parker and Doug to be successful during their trip. It's complicated because we're wearing three layers of gloves and an outer mitt, which is effectively like not having your hands at all. And the idea of taking off a glove is very unattractive because it's just so cold. And it's also dangerous because you can't take off a glove in minus 30 degrees, you will get frostbite. You know, we're used to taking out plastic bags made by Ziploc. And these things, they're made for kitchens. They're not made for minus 35 degrees. They're not made for North Pole expeditions. They're made for your five-year-old son's sandwich, you know, at camp or whatever. So when we take out a Ziploc bag and then the plastic crumbles in my hand and then the nuts fall over the bottom of my sled, it's like probably the most depressing feeling in the world. In product development, we solve problems. So opportunities are brought to us where a customer needs a, a new has a new application and needs a film or a bag to meet that application, and that's the type of things we do is solve that. The material that we use borrowed from the Duratair project. This is a, a combination, a co-extrusion film, a combination of resins that give you very good low temperature resistance. The idea behind cold temperature resins is you need to push down your glass transition temperature, but these are polyethylenes, they're semi-crystalline, so the way to do that is to get to the lowest densities that you can. Some of the resins that are in here are 0.88 densities, very low density resins. The key there is to keep the flexibility so it doesn't get brittle at the low temperatures. The food packaging is one of the most important aspects of a safe and successful expedition because it has implications for being able to survive on the ice and it has implications for our mental state. So it just seems natural to take our knowledge of packaging, of critical packaging like in medical, and aligning that with Parker's trip to Antarctica. It's, it's, it's bringing together uh, things that AMCOR values in the environment and also in our packaging. The expedition's partnership with AMCOR is so important and such a big part of the success of this expedition. Yeah.